We're continuing to follow updates on the list of requests from University of Texas student athletes. They announced the changes they'd like to see on campus in a tweet Friday afternoon. It was called, What Starts Here Changes the World. In it, student athletes called for a variety of modifications regarding racism on campus. Those changes include the renaming of buildings, the addition of programs that promote diversity, and perhaps most notably, replacing the school spirit song, The Eyes of Texas. The student athletes also requested that they no longer have to participate in singing the song. You can see the lyrics on your screen. Despite the origins of the song being called into question, it still remained a tradition to chant the words at sporting events, mainly football games where players, band members, and fans sing it in unison. The song's melody can also be heard from the UT campus bell tower. That being said, let's welcome in Alyssa Gord. Alyssa, criticism about this song has been tied to its history and how it was first performed. What have you found out about that? Well, Alex, first, let's start with the phrase, the eyes of Texas are upon you. That was reportedly coined by a former UT Austin President William Prather, who studied under former Confederate General Robert E. Lee at Washington and Lee University. Lee had a phrase that he used, which said, the eyes of the South are upon you, and Prather remade it for UT by switching out the word Texas. The Texas exes say that Prather used this to close out speeches, as well as other occasions. The song was first reported to be sung at a minstrel show back in 1903 with white students wearing blackface. As UT professor Edmund T. Gordon explains in his racial geography tour of campus, which you can view online, UT Spirit student group, the Texas Cowboys, used to have white students who would wear blackface and host minstrel shows on campus from the 1920s to the 1960s. Professor Gordon, who has spent 30 years at UT, says this is just one small slice of UT's racial history that most people don't know about. And so I'm, I'm happy that uh, people are using it as a resource. Uh, I don't take a particular position in relation to whether or not the song should be banned or uh, kept or whatever. Uh, I, what I do want to do, though, is start a conversation about not even just about the song. I want to, I want to start a conversation and have people be able to have the basic facts necessary to understand race on this campus. And Alyssa, the professor, professor's racial geography tour is getting a lot of attention recently. That's right, Sydney. Just one week ago, UT's College of Liberal Arts shared a video of Professor Gordon speaking for the virtual version of that tour and describing the origin of the eyes of Texas. That tweet has now been shared nearly 2,000 times, including by former and current athletes like Longhorn defensive back Caden Stearns, who has also called for the school spirit song to be removed. Professor Gordon says that he's been doing these tours informally since the early 90s, and he's kept doing them because of what he says is a lack of knowledge in the UT community about the history of race on the 40 acres. The tour became so popular that in recent years, it was developed into a virtual tour so that more people could attend. And now Professor Gordon tells me that since the video of his tour has circulated on social media recently, he has received racist responses and threats. But he also says that he's received a lot of support from former students who tell him that they have his back. Really important perspective and context there. Alyssa, thanks so much.